greetings and welcome to my channel Life Journey and Adventure. My name is Ravina Kate and today I am here to share one of my best experiences that I had in December 2019. So without further ado, let's get into the juice of this video. Hi, my name is Ravina Kate and I am coming all the way from Atlanta, Georgia to compete in Miss Bharat USA 2019. It's happening in New Jersey on December 1st. I am a dancer at heart. I choreograph a lot of pieces that inspire others to tell their stories. And I am also an aspiring actor. I personally never thought that I would be a part of beauty pageant. But once I had the opportunity, my instinct told me that you have to give it a shot. Now I am interested in acting, I am also a professional dancer but I never thought of being a beauty pageant though because I had all these negative uh, things in my head associated with pageants. The difference with this pageant platform was that there were people of all ages, all skin colors, uh, all type of heights, tall, short, single, married, grandmas, uh, Mr. Category, Teen Category, Pre-Teen Category and the list goes on and on. When I was participating and I called the organizer Rashmi Bedi, my first thing in my head was the, the doubt about how tall I am uh, to participate in this pageant and she said you just have to be a human being. And it was really sweet for me to know because I didn't know that there will be a platform where you are all equally welcome to participate. That was the first important thing. Secondly, this whole pageant experience helped me to be even more confident than I was before and as a performer, I grew so much, I absorbed so much information from the mentors there who coached us. Not having experience in uh, walking for pageants, uh, was actually good because I went there with a clean slate and I learned so much from everyone who was around me. Now, in this pageant, all these women, men, uh, they were not only beauty pageant girls, they had their own professions um, and they work in their field relentlessly to help our community around us. I was really glad that I got to be part of this uh, organization and, uh, and this platform where the first day when we went to New Jersey was we had an opportunity to listen to Melissa Singh who has been in Hollywood um, as, a, as a camera woman for a long time and she was able to give us tips and tricks um, and a lot of suggestions about what you need to do as an actress or actor and her session was really great for me to listen to because I want to be an actress and being there uh, listening to her was a wonderful opportunity to get to know even more uh, knowledge about film industry uh, because in real experiences, uh, when someone else tells you these things while they work in the industry, it's different than you reading, um, you know, something else and figuring out it yourself. Then um, we had a wonderful opportunity to be a part of music video. Um, the third day was the main day. Now, what was the pageant walk? Um, we watch a lot of fashion walks and fashion walks and pageant walks. There is a huge difference between two of these areas. And in the pageant walk, you are engaging with the audience, you are having fun, you are being yourself, and uh, most importantly, you are smiling. That's the difference between fashion walk and pageant walk. Fashion walks, there are no expressions, you feel like you are invisible and you are focusing more on your clothes. So it was such a challenge for me to understand the whole concept of pageant walk. The main day. Main day was very interesting. We had three rounds. First round was the talent show round where I decided to dance and I performed a Kathak piece on Mohe Rangolal for two minutes. Um, and that was my one of the best choreographies where I was able to show 
my authentic skills in uh, Qatar. Then the second round was ethnic round where you wear ethnic Indian uh, jewelry and traditional outfits and you showcase your walk uh, with all the grace that you have and then we were given an opportunity to explain and introduce ourselves uh, in few seconds and where audience and judges know you for who you are inside and not just outside. Third round was western evening gown where you do your walk and then you do final walk and then judges ask you questions. So Q&A part is very important. Like we all know, it is important for every pageant that happens. In this experience, I had, it wasn't all easy. I had a lot of financial uh, obstacles. I didn't know how to manage everything, but I had so many people who were there to support me. And at the end of the day, when the show came in, I had sponsors. I had Judy sponsor. Um, the House of Minari, you can check out her link right below in the description and please 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 uh, follow them on Instagram uh, check out their website their jewelry is amazing when I wore that jewelry I felt like a queen with the real confidence and it helped me to make my walk really nice and pleasant and elegant um, then I also had a wonderful opportunity to have a photo shoot with a photographer Mark Lee and he did a wonderful job of taking my pictures and you can see all these three looks right here um, this was the first look for my ethnic round the second was the gown where I wore one Mars gown and then I had a statement green jewelry absolutely amazing jewelry and the third one was the talent show where I did Qatar and this was the look as you can see I enjoyed being part of this pageant so much there is also a trailer of a reality show that came out uh, I also have that link down below uh, all you can do is give your best and leave it on in this universe because I was really happy for getting three awards and most importantly the awards were handed by Dr. Aditi Govitrikar, Bollywood celebrity and me being an aspiring actress it was wonderful to meet her, see her, uh, get questions asked by her and all three awards were given to me were from uh, her hand on stage. Um, so I was living in the moment. I had I received Miss Talented for my choreography. Miss Popular Worldwide Award that was also given by Aditi Gopitrikar where people voted for me and donated for the Global Foundation and then third was the very important first runner-up in Miss category. Now after the show I was really disappointed at myself because you tend to have high expectations from yourself and there was so much pressure for me to win not from others but from myself as well because I put so much into this whole process uh, so it was hard for me to accept that I am not the main winner um, but I had to get over it and I had to know that everyone's path is different and there are things that I have achieved much more than just winning the pageant um, so I was disappointed for a while but through this process I made a lot of connections. I got to represent um, the jewelry production, the House of Minari. I met wonderful ladies who are really smart, strong and intelligent. Um, in this environment I didn't just see that you know in the movies you are shown pageant girls very arrogant and competitive 
Obviously, everyone here was competitive, but I met really kind souls um, who were just there for me. I made lots of friends and I'm still in touch with them. Um, so this was one of the chapters that I wrote in my diary and I hope you guys like it. At the end of this video, I want to thank you My Dream Entertainment, Rashmi and Janak Bedi. I also want to thank my coaches and people who guided me. I want to thank you Mark Lee for taking beautiful pictures of me. I want to thank you every single girl who was present there who helped me um, with this journey. Um, so yeah, I had some freaked out moments where you don't get the makeup done and it's gonna be your turn and you are afraid and miserable that you're not gonna make it on stage but at the end of the day it's such a learning experience where you learn to deal with sudden situations and handle them with grace and trust in yourself um, yeah it's a huge experience for me and right now I am preparing for Miss South Asia which is coming up in March so I have almost one month to prepare I'm coming up with dance choreography and I'm also gonna work on my Q&A because last time I I was the nervous wreck I was there for the first time um, so I went blank and I did not use as much as um, vocabulary that I would have used and also um, just say the truth I felt like I missed out a lot of things and that's the point you want to improve every time you try for something like this and I am really pumped up to give my best more than best in Miss South Asia I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please, please share and comment below. If you have any questions, please comment below. I know everyone out there have their own insecurities, but at some point, we have to come out of our body insecurities and doubts that talk to you every day. And then that's why you are held back from what you want to do. Um, so yeah hit that button subscribe button don't forget that and i really appreciate you guys just watching me and for talking to me and really listening to me thank you so much have a great day do not forget to follow me on instagram link is down below and here also follow me on facebook uh, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, I'll be able to make a visual vlog about Miss South Asia. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.